a sedentary lifestyle and a diet high in sugar are particularly hazardous to men. Listen up, man. A new study found that making changes to your lifestyle can have an effect on the way your blood vessels respond to insulin. The study included and done by the University of Missouri School of Medicine is the first to provide the proof that short-term changes to a person's lifestyle can change the way their blood vessels respond to insulin. The findings of the study were published in the Journal of Diabetes Care. In addition, this is the first study to demonstrate that males and females react to these shifts distinctly in different ways. The study's lead author says that the findings could have implications for treatment for diabetes. These findings suggest that there may be a window of opportunity when it comes to modifying lifestyle factors to improve insulin sensitivity. If we can identify this window, it may be possible to prevent or delay the onset of type 2 diabetes. These findings are sure to cause a stir in the medical community and this may lead to changes in the way the diabetes is treated in the future. Hello everyone, if you are looking for exclusive deals, blogs, educational content every week delivered to your email, subscribe to our newsletter at sugarmds.com right now. The researchers have long known that insulin resistance in the blood is a sign of obesity and type 2 diabetes and that it can lead to vascular disease like heart attacks and strokes. However, a new study has shown that just 10 days of being less active and consuming more sugar can increase the insulin resistance in just 10 days in otherwise healthy young adults just like me. Shocking. The findings published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism suggest that even short-term changes in lifestyle can have a significant impact on health. The study's participants were asked to reduce their daily step count. Isn't that weird? They're, we are asking them to reduce it from 10,000 down to 5,000 and have some extra cans of Coke and stuff like that. The researchers found that the insulin resistance had increased dramatically in 10 days. These findings actually really highlight the importance of a healthy lifestyle in order to reduce the risk of developing obesity and diabetes and how quickly we can respond to that. Insulin resistance and heart disease are more common in men than in postmenopausal women. So the researchers wanted to find out how men and women respond in a short period of time to a reduction in physical activity and an increase in the amount of sugar in their diet. So interestingly, they discovered that while both genders see a rise in insulin resistance, diabetes and blood sugar levels, men are more likely to experience these changes after just 10 days or up to four weeks, just being a little more sedentary. Women, on the other hand, don't seem to suffer the same consequences as well as their men counterparts from being inactive. So I guess men are created to be more active. You know, we are the hunters, go get it, man, right? So if you're sitting on your bum, you're gonna be insulin resistant and you're gonna die. That's what nature wants you to do. Go get it. Well, you know, believe in God, I don't wanna offend anybody. You know, if you're believing God, that's what God wants, you know, do it. Just get up and go, okay? If you don't, you get a heart disease and you die. Simple as that. The study found that this group of men had a drop in their protein called adropin, which controls insulin sensitivity, which is an important biomarker for heart disease. These findings indicate that men and women respond differently to a lifestyle that is high in sugar and low in exercise, and then this combination causes vascular insulin resistance in different ways. The researchers found that this is the first study, first human study, that we are aware of that provides evidence that even temporary deviations from a healthy lifestyle can lead to an increase in vascular insulin resistance. It is also the first time that differences between men and women in the development of vascular insulin resistance in response to changes in adiponectin levels have been shown. So, they also stated that 
they would like to learn how long it would take to reverse these changes that they just created in those blood vessels and the metabolism and uh, even on the information how sexual activity influences the development of vascular resistance that's always exciting to talk about these things right that will be interesting but anyways that was all i wanted to share this interesting study with you thanks for watching and make sure you share this video with friends and the family give a thumbs up support the channel i really appreciate it if you learned something from this video please let me know in the comment just say thank you that's enough for me i love hearing from other viewers they are their views as well i'm always happy to answer questions whenever i have time but like i said a simple things goes a long way thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.